With the history of residential schools and unmarked graves coming to light over the last couple of years, Indigenous issues are once again part of the discussion as part of a federal election. How those Indigenous communities will vote along with the rest of Canada, however, isn't as clear as it once was. But in terms of this government, you know, we don't need their mouth flapping to get our votes because it ain't happening. Jackie Sakota grew up at the Kettle Point Reserve on Lake Huron before making her way to Toronto at a young age. After years of struggle, she finally had hope for Indigenous peoples with the election of Justin Trudeau as Prime Minister in 2015. But that has changed. From where I sit and from what I see, and it's I'm, I'm going back years, not just six years ago, I'm going back my whole lifetime. You know what? I don't see any real positive changes in our communities, in our urban settings. Trudeau has been criticized for not doing more to address the 94 calls to action as part of the Truth and Reconciliation Report. We have promises that we can look to and literally check off. Were they kept? Were they not kept? Were they implemented in a substantive way or was it a superficial way? And that's going to weigh heavily. NDP leader Jagmeet Singh was emotional while visiting the Cowess's First Nation in Saskatchewan last week, vowing to do more than the previous government for Indigenous communities across the country. We can't forget these children that lost their lives, these children that were killed. We have to remember that and we have to use that as motivation for us to demand that every child is brought home, demand that every single one of the calls to action in the Truth and Reconciliation Commi Commission are enacted. Both Conservative leader Aaron O'Toole and Trudeau had been to Cowessis before the election campaign to see the unmarked burial sites near the formal residential school there. Wouldn't it be great if for the first time we could have intergenerational opportunity and wealth transfer, not trauma? So we will have a path to reconciliation that will make sure that we respect uh, Indigenous communities and their ability to provide jobs and opportunity for their people. Trudeau has been on the defensive, claiming Thank the promises God. first made will take much longer to address than was first indicated. What took generations and in some cases even centuries to break will take more than a few years to fix. What we need to do is continue to be unbelievably ambitious in working together to build a stronger future for Indigenous peoples. From some, they've waited long enough. In terms of this election, I wish there was a strong leader. Polling numbers from Elections Canada do offer a glimpse of the Indigenous vote over the last couple of elections. In 2015, the on-reserve turnout across the country was actually at 61.5%. In 2019, there was a significant drop to only 51.8% casting a ballot. Mark McAllister, City News.